Well, welcome back to another episode of Tiffy Tries. It's Tiffy Tries, because Tiffy likes to try things. Today I'm going to try my hand at stained glass. This has always been a craft that I've been super interested in, but scared to do it because, you know, glass <laughs> and soldering. I have done neither of the two, but it's a great day to start, am I right? Now, instead of being a normal person and taking a class or going to school for this, I decided we're just going to learn this all from YouTube because, you know, that's what we do here. So I found a couple stained glass content creators and I'll put their channels in the description. They will teach you everything that I have learned, but I think it's about time for me to just dive in and get hands on with it. So I watched a lot of videos, took notes like I was actually in class, taking all the safety precautions needed because this is a completely new medium that I'm not familiar with. So safety is key. So I went glass shopping, glass shopping. We're going shopping for glass. Yeah. Now That's wear your mask, people. Wear your mask. Yeah. Let's go see what they have. That's crazy. Shopping for glass. Who would have thought? Would've 2021, thought. am I right? We found this super cute local glass store and just sifted through the enormous amounts of glass. I tried to get some pieces that I really liked, like the iridescent pieces, but since it's my first time, I thought that I should get some practice pieces. So I got glass that was on sale and on the cheaper side because we're gonna be practicing with that today. Maybe I'll throw in one of the nicer pieces, but you know, you gotta practice. But I hope you all are excited for this. I know I am very excited and I hope that this inspires you to try something new that you've been wanting to try because there's no time like today. Welcome to my studio. The sound quality won't be as good as it is in the recording room, but I wanted to show you guys my sketches that I did for the crystals. We are going to go with this one right here. It's seven pieces and I am just going to draw it out on some tracing paper. I'm only using tracing paper because I have a ton of this stuff, I'm not really tracing anything. So let's figure out the size and the shape and get some templates going. All right, so I'm thinking of making it a similar size to this paper because I feel like the larger that it is, the easier it's gonna be for me. Here she is, nothing too crazy. All right, there it is, all cut out. Important to number the pieces so I can reference my sketch. Now let's decide what glass we want to use. I'm gonna show you guys some of the glass that we, we got from the store. They wrap it up nicely so you know it doesn't break. I'm a little intimidated right now, I'm gonna be honest with you. Getting out of my comfort zone. All right, so I might try to incorporate this guy here. There's another one that I got on sale. It was half off, just a nice clear. It has like a texture to it. Oh wait, but I wanna show you this. Maybe, maybe if I get brave, maybe I'll incorporate this into it. So it's more of like a clear iridescent which is so pretty. I think maybe I'll do one piece in this. All right, so I, yeah, I guess we're just figuring out what piece is gonna be what, and then we trace it out on the glass. <laughs> Scared. All right, I had to actually think about it and write it down. I don't wanna overwhelm myself, so I'm only gonna do one piece in the white iridescent, one piece in the darker one, and then the rest is gonna be clear since it is my first one. So I got my Sharpie and we're just gonna lay everything out. Okay, so I'm ready to cut. Gotta put my glasses on, safety first. And then I have this glass cutting oil, not even opened. This is brand spanking new. I'm just gonna pour a little bit in here. I don't know how much I need, but I'm also gonna put a little cotton swab in here so it could absorb it. And here is the glass cutter that I'm using. Dip that in the oil. All right, let's try our first cut. Let's see how this goes. See if I could go straight. I don't know the correct way to hold this, but I don't even know if that cut. Okay. I don't even know if I put enough pressure on that. I think we should try to break it. Got these guys here. Let's see if this works. So I'm just supposed to do it right in the middle of the cut. 
I don't even know if I did this right. I'm doing nothing's working. Let me try a different piece. It sounds like I'm doing something, but I couldn't tell you. Like, I have no idea. Okay, with a ruler, it's much easier because I'm more confident in my cuts. I definitely feel like I'm cutting better. Still scared, but I'm just gonna cut all of this and then we'll see if we could break it. All right, so in the center, let's try this. This is really nerve wracking. So I'm just supposed to Pinch it on each. Oh, oh no. Oh, I messed it up. How did that happen? Squeeze. Oh, I did it. I did it. I got my first, my first line. Okay. At least let's try to keep this intact. I think I actually have to cut straight across right here. I feel like I have to cut glass a certain way. Like I can't do these little sections what I'm thinking. So let's cut off a piece like this. All right, I'm scoring this all the way up because I feel like I'm not gonna be able to cut it. All right, so let's try this one here. I feel like this one's not coming loose so I know what I could do is just tap it I feel like I'm gonna break it <laughs> there it is oh my gosh I'm doing it all right so that score line is cut let me try to cut the actual piece that I wanted okay so we want to cut right here it works oh my gosh I'm so Amazing. Okay, it's not like super clean, but I got my first piece and we're gonna sand that down. We have a couple casualty pieces. I'll have to redraw, but that's okay. It works. I'm getting the hang of it. You can't cut it specific ways. And then we got another little piece. It just breaks right off. Much better now. Oh my gosh. I'm excited. Whoa, it just broke off perfectly. Not how I wanted it to be, but still. Yes. Okay, time for the piece that I've been dreading. This is the more pricier piece, so hopefully I've had enough practice. Woo! Perfect. Yay. So satisfying when it breaks like in the right spot. Okay, so I have my glass pieces cut. I need to take one of them to the grinder and I don't want to do it today. So I'll probably do it tomorrow, but I'm going to just put the copper, uh, what is this called? Copper tape. <laughs> copper tape. We're gonna put copper tape on the edges of these guys and then that way I only have to put tape on one of them tomorrow. I think I might have to sand some of those. Let's get the clean pieces and we're gonna cover them. Okay, so it seems like it's pretty easy to do, right? You just kind of peel as you go. I know I'm supposed to stick it like right in the middle like that so curl it over the edges just like this so I'm just gonna use this to kind of like flatten it down maybe let's use this one the reason why you want to do this is because the solder 
won't stick to the glass unless you have this. So wherever this is, that's where the solder is going to stick. It's a little trickier than it seems. Okay, so I'm going to finish this off and I'll be back tomorrow. We're going to try the grinder tomorrow. I'm a little nervous for this. Never used it before, but we got to cut the glass. Okay. And all these guys will be done too. See you guys tomorrow. All right, so it's the next day. I am going to grind some pieces. And to be honest with you, I'm pretty nervous about this. Here is the glass grinder. I have the actual little grinder right here. We've already set it up. Gotta put water in the base, water the sponge. And my glass piece is here and some protective gear that I'm gonna be wearing. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty nervous for this. This is like something completely new to me. So I'm taking the safety precautions. Let's let's try it. Let's try to grind, grind the glass. Glasses, glass, cool. I wanna have Mario plug it in for me because I'm scared. Okay. The sponge came up. Yeah. It's supposed to be touching the saw or the grinder. We're done. Now I gotta go rinse them. Okay, so I washed the glass pieces. Um, it wasn't as bad as I thought, though I think I need to wear a hairnet the next time I do that. I did see some pieces flying up, so protective gear is definitely a must. And I think I might get an apron for that, but since I did like a small amount of pieces, it was okay. I think it was okay for that, but next time I need to be more safe. Now I'm going to uh, cover these guys just like uh, this dude right here. I don't know why for some reason. It's so satisfying for me to see a piece of glass like this. Okay, so I finished putting all of the copper on the edges and I noticed that I made a little mistake. So here's what it looks like all together and I noticed that the top edge right here is like the wrong angle. I think I was supposed to saw off an angle right here but it doesn't look too bad and I put my saw away so I kind of don't want to get it out. Also down here the glass is not as narrow as it needs to be. It should have come down here so I think what I'm going to do is remedy that with some wire. Maybe put some wire down here and kind of get solder on it. So we'll see how that comes out. That is the piece so far. So I think I'm just gonna break it up into parts. This whole process took a little bit longer than I thought, so I'm gonna come back to it tomorrow and we're gonna attempt the soldering, which I'm the most scared about. Face my fears. Okay, it's soldering day. I am a little nervous for this, but I got all my stuff ready. We got my solder here and I'm gonna keep this on for 10 temperature. Uh, I have my glass flux. We're gonna paint this onto our copper tape before we actually solder. And then this is the actual solder. It is a 60-40. It has lead in it. 60-10-40 lead. So I'm gonna be wearing some protective eye gear and a protective like base gear so I don't breathe in anything. Got my windows open, my door is open, well ventilated area. And then I also have this tip tinner to clean the tip of the solder. And then we got some jump rings and we fixed this edge. This is the chain I'm gonna be using. And I also have a copper patina that I'm gonna be putting over this since the chain is copper. Okay, that was a mouthful. I am nervous for this. This is the first time I've ever soldered anything. So um, hopefully this goes smoothly and we create some nice little beads. Let's do it. Okay, first thing first, I am going to paint on the flux uh, where the pieces connect. So here. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna grab our wire here, kind of unravel it. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I, I think this is warm enough. I don't even know how to hold this. <laughs> it feels so awkward. Maybe like a pin, kind of like this. Let me just try grabbing, um... oh my gosh, it just melts off. So I'm just gonna, oh, 
So I don't want to heat it up too much because I could end up breaking the glass. So I feel like I just have to like talk to myself because I'm so nervous right now. The goal is to create a nice bead. Okay, we beaded all the points. Now the part that I'm really scared for is the doing the lines. I'll start at the top and I'll do the inside before I do the edges. I'll save the edges for last. It is so ugly. <laughs> this is definitely a very, very rocky job. <laughs> very bumpy. Here's one side. I think I need to flip it over and do the other side. It's very rocky, but it still feels a little warm. So I'm gonna let it kind of cool a little bit. I think the glass is warm too. Okay, so it's nice and cool. Now I can flip it over and we're gonna work on the back. And then once we do the back, I'll do the sides and then we'll attach the chain. Okay, I made a mess. I think this comes off, I'm not not entirely sure but here is the piece i went ahead and washed it with this uh, flex remover and then now i'm gonna patina it so we're gonna do a copper patina we're gonna brush it on and it's gonna change this all to copper so it can match this guy and then once we do that we should be done Whoa, that's super cool. All right, so the moment of truth. Here is the final piece. Uh, I realized that I actually, uh, oh my gosh, it looks so much better in this lighting. But I realized that I actually cut one of the iridescent pieces upside down. That's a lesson. Um, she's, a, she's a messy one. Here's the detail. I mean, it doesn't look that bad on camera, but in person, you can tell it was an amateur who did this, especially on the back. I definitely think that, you know, Maybe my third or fourth piece, I'll have those nice beads. I think what I'm actually gonna do is practice like soldering because I was so scared. If I had to grade this project, I would give myself a C because I tried, <laughs> but it's my first one and I already ordered more of the actual like solder the wire. I ordered more safety gear. I got a better mask because when I was doing the patina, I had my window and doors open, but when I would bring it like closer to my face, it smelled like pennies and i don't think that's a good thing so i got an actual respirator mask i got a hair net so when i'm like sawing stuff i got like gloves because i did get like still kind of bothering me like a few days later i think i got like a little piece of glass or something in my finger i didn't think it was going to take this amount of time i did it over the course of three days so i have much more respect for people who do this type of work artists who do this type of work but there she is I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it inspired you to try something that you have been wanting to try. Dive into it. I believe in you. If I can do this, I was so scared. We pulled through. I'm going to make more. Let me know if you guys want to see another video. I think I might have to do an update video. Uh, if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. I do post videos like this every now and then. These are like my favorite things to, to make. It does take a little bit longer to do these types of videos. If you did enjoy it and you wanna see more, please leave a like on the video to let me know and also comment down below what you would like me to try next. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is 
Tiffy or Cupquick, and I will see you all later. Bye!